Okay, hey everyone, it's Sunny. Welcome back to my channel. After I mentioned in another video and then posting a lot about my annotations on my Instagram recently, people have asked me to make this video explaining how I annotate using my iPad. So I thought that I would make this video and show you guys how I do it in case you guys want to do it too. Annotating books have become like super big. People love it so much. But if you guys know, I don't read a lot of physical books. A lot of times I read ebooks on my actual e-reader. But if I feel like I want to annotate a book instead of my e-reader, I actually get the book and I read it on my iPad instead so that I can actually annotate the book. So for the most part, this is for like the romance novels that I read. Recently, I've been like binge reading the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher. If you want to know how I annotate and like some of my tips and tricks kind of or like annotation ideas, um, I'm going to explain it all in this video. I also want to quickly say that I'm not going to take credit for coming up with this method. I saw it on my Instagram, I believe by Kimmy Book, who's a bookstagrammer that I really love. I saw like an annotation for an ebook and I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. And so I went on my iPad and tried to figure out like how she did it. I don't know if this is actually how she did it, but this is like what I figured out for myself. So I'm going to explain that. This is the iPad Pro 2020. I think like the new, not the newest. Is it the newest? I forget. And it's the 11 inch. So like the smaller one. And then I also have that with the pencil or like having a stylus of some kind, I think is probably the easiest way to do this. So I use iBooks. So it looks like this and you can kind of choose. Oh, okay. Wait, let me screen record. Okay. You can kind of choose the background page color. I think the automatic one is white. So if you want to do white, you can do white. I actually like this, I don't know, like the beige one, like the sepia one, if I want to do a lighter color. And then I also like the gray one. I think the gray one looks really nice depending on what other color you want to use. So the book that I'm reading right now is Redeemed by Lauren Asher. I bookmarked an annotation as an example for you guys last night. I don't use like a key or anything like that. I know some people do that when they like pick a color for like a certain moment. But since I don't tap or anything like that in these ebooks, I don't really have that. What I do is I normally pick one color or two colors. I don't really pick a pair of colors to just use as the color scheme throughout the entire book. And most of the times it depends on like either the cover of the book or like what color I feel like the vibe of the book is. See, this is an example of what I already did for Redeem. I think that I just chose the dark background, like the completely dark one, the black one, and just pink, like the dark pink and the lighter pink. Every time I read something and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Like it's making me feel something. I don't know. Like I think I just want to make this part pretty or something like that. Then what I do is I just screenshot and then you open the screenshot. It opens up the screenshot like this and then this little toolbar at the bottom so there's a pen a highlighter like a crayony pencil-y kind of pen eraser a selector and a ruler you have all these basic colors and then if you click the rainbow you can create your own color so these are all the colors that i created by myself you can add your own color if you want i use these top two pink colors the light pink and the dark pink and then same thing with the highlighter i just use the same ones too for all of my highlighting i use the highlighter on like a really really light opacity this part right here i thought was so cute i see a trend here do you like wildflowers there's something beautiful about chaos they remind me of you i remember i thought that part was so cute and i love that they're talking about wildflowers because i'm like oh my gosh i want to draw wildflowers and stuff yeah this is the part that i'm going to annotate this is the full page i normally just zoom in like this and like depending on just what i want to do i don't have like a set set routine they're just like a couple of like things that i normally do so i'll show them all so the first thing is highlighting so i use the highlighter one like i said you can choose the thickness of everything too i put it into like the super low opacity and then i use the ruler and then put it to completely straight my roommate is vacuuming so i want to start this one here so i'm going to highlight okay, i actually want to do a little bit of a stronger opacity yeah so highlight this and I'm also going to highlight They Remind Me of You. After that, I like to go onto the crayon pen. I never use this pen. I like using the crayon pen because of the texture. And I'm going to go into the darker pink. And then for this one, I also use the thinnest one. And I also use the ruler to underline to create like a perfect straight line. So I underline these. They remind me of you. So that's like the dialogue part that I really like. And then I also thought this part was pretty cute when he went, oh my gosh, where did that come from? So I also like to circle things a lot. Okay, I'm gonna redo this when my roommate stops vacuuming. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay, so the other thing that I really like to do, do a squiggle underline. So here, since I really want to emphasize the word wildflowers, what I'll do is I'll go in with I'll do a little squiggle underline, and then I'll go in with the other color. I normally just stick to two colors, and then I'll go in and do a double underline like that. And I also really like to draw things. So wildflowers, I think are so pretty. So I'm going to just draw different flowers. Do a little peach one, two. And then I'm gonna do a, a green. I wanna do like a muted green for the stem. Okay, that's pretty. Do like that. I'm gonna do it in all different directions. I 
I'm gonna leave some petals like falling too here. And see, look how pretty that is. Anyway, I think I'm done with this annotation. I like it. I'm going to zoom out again and then it's gonna click done and save it to photos. And then you just have it in your photo story now. So, okay, so now we're in another book, which is the first book in the series, Throttle. Um, I already read this book and I already annotated it. Now, like the light version, and obviously I go into like the Sapia. This part, I recognize how I saw Noah how I wanted, believing the show he put on for everyone. I remember I highlighted this part because I was, it was just really important to their character development. I was like, oh, like I was really feeling for Noah at this part, so I highlighted it. So I'll just annotate like my thoughts or reactions and stuff. So again, I'm going to screenshot and I'm going to open up the screenshot. I think for throttle, I'm pretty sure that I just use the red and the yellow color. Again, I'm going to go back with my ruler and use the yellow for my highlight. So highlight that entire paragraph. And then please leave it alone. <laughs> That was the part that making me cry. So then I'm gonna go in with my underlining, with my red. Pretty sure I chose these colors because their book series is about Formula One racing, and this is like red and yellow are the colors for his team. For when he says please leave it alone, which is the part that like made me so sad and like made me want to cry a little bit because I had such a strong reaction to it. I want to do something more special than just that. I'm gonna underline without the ruler and like scribble it across, you know? Please leave it alone. I recognize how I saw Noah how I wanted, believing the show he puts on for everyone. Smug, overconfident, rebellious. That is like the show that he put on for everyone, but he's actually not really that way. So I'm gonna do a little scribble action. Scribble, he's not actually like that. I'm going to circle alone because he is very alone. And what I often do is write my reaction to it. People compliment my handwriting, thank you. And then sometimes I'll like put an arrow to it. So then that is one example. Simple. I'm gonna save that one too. Another example. This one is from the third book. Wrecked. Oh my gosh, I literally read all these books in like the past three days. I'm pretty sure that I did like purple color scheme, so I'm gonna do that for this one too. I wanted to annotate this little love speech at the end. I thought it was so sweet. So again, screenshot, open it up. So I'm not gonna go in with the highlighter again. I'm gonna highlight this part. I guess there's also mild spoilers about the series in this video. I hope that's okay because I said that disclaimer way too late. And then I'm just gonna go in with the same purple and underline this part. I like it because it looks so neat and uniform. Okay, double underline, I love you. Then another easy annotation, like little doodle thing to do is just hearts, like a heart border all the way around. So this one was like a love declaration. So you just put hearts. I like doing the side borders. Like that. Also the good thing about doing it electronically, if you want, you can use like the selector tool and you can select one border if you want or you can duplicate it if you want them to be like perfectly the same. I don't really like that. I think that it looks nice if it looks a little bit imperfect so I just do it by hand like both of them. Another one that I like to do is if you're going horizontal, I like to alternate between like upside down and right side up parts. I think that looks cute too. And then, or another one that I like to do a lot is put sparkles in. <laughs> These little sparkles in I think are pretty too. This is what that looks like. I think I'm done with this annotation, so I'm gonna zoom out and save that. I don't know if I did a good job explaining, but I hope that made sense or give you ideas. If you always wanted to annotate books, but you are like me and like just read ebooks pretty much because you're too broke to buy actual books. I hope that this was helpful in some way. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys also annotate ebooks or like have found a way to do it because I feel like I'm always interested to see. Anyway, that's gonna be all. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Follow me on my socials. They're all linked in the description. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Sweet.